Hello, the Rusty Hubcap here, back with another video, and today I was just going to do something different. Um, I know I do most of my videos about hubcaps, but today, for um, my first video, I'm going to uh, do a video on all the um, bikes and all the classic bikes and scooters that I have. And I'm just going to go ahead and do an interview of each and every one of them. So this is the first one. It's an old Columbia Sterling, about 1969 maybe. I don't know the year. The front fender has come loose. The bolts are missing, so I'm going to have to have some bolts for it. And um, it's got the original tires on it. Everything on here is original. The handlebars are rusty. Um, the, the reflector is kind of you know, bolted on in a fashion where it sticks out from the frame. And then, as you can see, it's very basic. There isn't very much parts on it. And as you can see, there's not much control in this bike. It's just pretty much your feet there, obviously. Um, it doesn't have any of the uh, coaster brakes. It's obviously got an old-fashioned stopping brake with the pedals. And um, the back fender is sturdy. There's quite a amount of paint loss here and there. But nice to see that the uh, label on this side is in better shape than this side. It's got the original handlebars on it. They're gripped. The seat, not as comfortable as the next bike I'm going to show you, which is a bit more classier. Next is this 1964 Sears and Roebuck Company um, bike. This one is made in Austria, actually. And um, as you can see, it's got the original yeah, the dealer tag on it. I hadn't taken it off. Here's some of the markings up here. And there's an old Sears badge. And as you can see, the seat is very, very cushiony. It's got hand gears. And um, there was an old Japanese bike lock on here that I can't get off because the person I bought it from didn't have the key for it. So I guess I'm kind of stuck with this lock on it unless we cut it off. And as you can see, it's a very old lock. Um, I guess that's just on there. It's got obviously the hand grips. It's got a... Um, a three-speed um, gear changer, as you can see. It's got a three-speed. And um, my favorite part about it is the light. It's a teardrop-shaped metal light. And as the mechanism to turn on, some weird stickers have been stuck on here. I'm going to push the button, this comes loose, and that comes out, and it requires two batteries. And the uh, wiring in there is still good. It's not in bad condition. All I have to do is really put some batteries in there that might work, and it might work. But anyway, that's the second bike. Next one is this 1982 Peugeot PH10 um, cruiser bike. This is a very rare version. You mostly see the mountain and speed bikes, but this is a rare cruiser version with the uh, the um, rack on the back end. It used to have this old French style headlight in it until it apparently was missing. It's got Weinman front brakes. An old Peugeot paper label on there. That's where I used to mount my phone on it. And the handlebars, you can see, are really greasy. And uh, it's got hand brakes. It's also got another gear system, but it's got a double paddle box um, gear um, gear mechanism. And um, obviously, the brakes are stopping brakes down here. This is where the uh, calipers are. And down here it used to be where the um, the brake disc was until it started breaking apart. It's got um a triple chain, as you can see, where it can jump chains. And right there was an old speedometer, as you can see. It would this would spin as it touched the wheel, and it would track how fast you were going. As you can see, it adjusts. And the brake mechanism travels from here, wrapping around the bike once, coming down. Well, there's the original wires for the headlight. And it goes all the way down past the seat and splits into the brakes. And the seat, not comfortable really. And it's also got um, original reflectors on it. There's that. They're all there on both sides. And it's got the front reflector still there. But um, this is my favorite bike out of the two. I have the, all the actual bikes. Next is a scooter. And this scooter here is a pre-World War II German puke scooter or um i believe it's called a Witkop scooter 
The front wheel is obviously very dry rotted. And as you can see, it's been sitting like this for so long, it actually deteriorated flat. It's got true metal um, fenders. The running board has dry rotted and cracked, but it's got the original wood running board. Both handlebars are missing off of this bike, I mean, off of this scooter, but um, it's old German. And the kickstand back here actually folds all the way up, and I believe there used to be like a padding here for people to put stuff on, or another person could stand on it. But this wheel has dry rotted, but it's still flat. And I love how it's got pinstriping on it. Um, another scooter is probably one of the plain Janes and probably the least rare one. It's a 1950s radio flyer. It's got this label on it. It's got the black tires on it there. The white basic pressed steel wheels. And um, you obviously stood on this to stop the scooter. You flip it forward and it stop it. And as you can see, it's kind of melted there. Kickstand, all metal. As you can see on the underside, it's in pretty good condition. Um, there's the handlebars, still there. I have another scooter in the hubcap room. It's been, you probably haven't seen it before because it's so buried under all this stuff. There is one with the wooden handlebars. And then there's my 1970s Ross Europa 10 speed bike. It has 10 speed and has the same gear mechanism as the Peugeot outside. That's not the original seat. This is. Very unusual looking. And the handlebars are actually facing the wrong direction. It's supposed to be pointed the other way. But um, this bike's been buried for so long. You probably noticed it before when I do my videos. And the, the last few things is actually in this room. Where there's a an old 1984 Murphy Mellow Yellow bicycle. For the 1984 Olympics. The camera won't focus so... And uh, right there is a old BMW 328 pedal car made in Italy. There's um, some more other, some more things like these two bikes. This is a 1967 Schwinn Hollywood with the original tires on it. They're they're old Schwinn Westwind tires and made of nylon and keep inflated to 45 pounds. Very nice. Um, there's only some rust back by the rear fender neck rear fender um support but the um, the original paint and pinstriping is in excellent condition this bike i only paid 60 bucks for it and down here i believe i paid 40 for this one just to have a nice display bike it's a 1966 i believe schwinn pixie 2 girls bike it's old i bought it because i like the old design for this one it's got the original schwinn bell on it the schwinn seat which was famous and the nice Schwinn approved handlebars. There's some small rusting on this one, but it's still in pretty good condition. And down here is where the uh, the fat tired Mongoose Beast is, the one that has fat tires. I actually bought a French flag for the uh, Peugeot when I rode it around a lot. And then there's my Huffy, so that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys next time, bye.